review of this gun is it's a smooth shooting gun. I like the 380 cartridge, but I'd prefer something else for carry. It's got a decent trigger on it. The sights are a little small, but they're not terrible to pick up. It's got a good double action, single action trigger. It really feels good in the hands. And actually the fit between the slide and frame, at least on this one, felt incredible. I really like the way this firearm feels. It does seem like a little bit of lower quality metal was put into it. Um, I'm going to cut to some pictures of the slide, but it doesn't look like the highest quality metal, but it shoots fairly well. I actually like the way it feels. Disassembly is extremely easy. You just push down on this little lever, pull back, and up. That is all there is to it. It's very simple. And it's really easy. So, a little feature that I didn't know about it is right here is a child lock. Now I think this is completely stupid to have, but if you churn it, it disables the gun. Now in my opinion, if you have children running around your house, you might as well just buy a safe, okay? If they get a hold of this and start playing with it, it's still stupid even if it's inoperable. Put it in a safe. I mean, you can get a pistol safe to keep it away from children. So I think that feature is completely stupid, in my opinion. The mag release is right where I want it. The slide release is perfect even though half the time you don't need it because if you slam it hard enough, it goes forward. The decocker, when I first got it, was extremely stiff, but as I've worked with it, it's gotten a lot smoother. Like I said, double action trigger is pretty good. It's actually fairly light for being a double action trigger. Single action trigger is great. I don't know what else I could say about it. Oh, when you first get this firearm, it has a magazine safety, which what that bullshit means is when the magazine's not in the gun, the gun won't fire. But as you can see, it's very easy to disable. There's a lot of videos on it, so I'm not going to waste my time. There's two that I know of, and that's how I learned, and they're fantastic videos, so I'm not going to waste your time with that. But definitely go to those videos if you hate the magazine safety. But other than that, I love this firearm. I really wish it could have been a steel lower instead of an aluminum lower, but it's not a bad gun. So let's go over here and talk to John. I want to see what his perspective is. All right, John, what do you think of this thing? Well, I like it because I do have small hands, so <laughs> it fits perfectly in my hand. I can actually reach the slide release and it does feel a little light to me compared to some other guns I have fired. Well, you've been shooting, you know, steel guns, yeah. you know, full-size guns, you know. But... Yeah, I, I like it a lot. Just but, for the, the feel of it? Yeah. I really like that gun. It, it's for, what, I think it was 220 bucks for that one, and that was more of a deluxe one. It has a uh, better finish on it. The fit and finish is a lot better. I mean, the slide to frame is a lot better than the base one that I was looking at. Yeah. And so their high-end one is not even 300 bucks. So you get what you pay for. There are some things about it I'm not sure about. But I do like this firearm. I just wish they made it in steel. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to try some Hornady Critical Defense 380s. Now, it's it currently in the gun. I've had this thing chambered for a little bit. We're gonna see how these rounds go. They all performed just fine. I thought they would, they're high quality ammunition, but you always wanna test them.
got a little bit of a kick to it. You like? Yeah, it's nice. It's a little snappy. You feel it around uh, the web of your hand, don't you? Yeah. You getting yeah, a red yeah. mark? A little bit, not much. John has expressed that this is one of his favorite guns I own because it's so small and he has tiny little hands. He's flipping me off with those tiny little hands right now. You guys can't see that, but he is. So, all right, now one thing I will say about this thing is it's really easy to hit the uh, slide release. Right here, it's easy with your thumb, but if you slam the magazine in there hard enough, it actually goes forward without you having to hit it. So, a little FYI. All right, now I got two rounds of what's left of, um, I think they're federal aluminum cased ammunition. This seemed to go through the gun okay, but what didn't seem to go through all right was Tula. You would have a whole bunch of light primer strikes and I got a couple of them left. They're in really bad condition, but I'm not sure where I got them. I, I don't know, but I had them sitting around. So I'm gonna shoot a magazine through it to show you. I'm gonna shoot this for John so that he knows what to expect when he shoots these. But if he keeps good enough ammunition through it, I've shoot Perfectas. Funny enough, they're actually cheaper than uh, Tula most of the time. But you're gonna see a lot of stoppages. It's never a failure to feed. Well, I am so glad those may, those rounds made me out to be a liar, but take my word for it. That's the problem. Now recock the hammer and this time it'll go off. Try it again, unless that was seven. I'm gonna try that again. Yeah, some of these rounds uh, giving me. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really do like this firearm. It's impressed me for the price. If you guys would like to see more like this, 
put something down in the comments below. And as always, I'm always looking for feedback on what you guys would like to see more on this channel. So, hope you guys enjoyed. The worst part of the day is when you're out of ammo. Jackass. <laughs>